daycare, just a small bunkie, and then along with some piers. So we just gotta cut out some trees here to get access to the site and uh, clear a couple trees out of the building site. And then we'll start digging. Should mostly finish today. But before we uh, start knocking some trees down, we have some survey stakes here, so we'll put in some offsets so we don't lose those. Makes sense to move the kayaks and trees before we drop a tree, right? Now hopefully it's not frozen, doesn't look to be. And hopefully our little strap doesn't break. Voila. Okay, we'll grab the chainsaw and we'll cut some small trees out there and then basically it's just this swath right here we gotta take out. We're gonna leave this big guy though. Safety first. It's like I'm gearing up to go snowmobiling. How am I supposed to wear my hat in this? Doesn't work. Somebody asked me how I stay in shape for snowmobile season, and I'm definitely not in shape, um, but I'm not out of shape. I'd like to be in better shape for snowmobile season, and it's just kind of hard to do when you know I work a lot of hours. But uh, as you can see, I'm not just sitting in an excavator all day. I'm in and out of the machine constantly, jumping in and out of excavations chainsawing trees up so I still stay active and personally I wouldn't really like to just sit in a machine all day you know there's days where I do sit in a machine all day and <laughs> the days definitely go by a lot slower when you're doing that they go by pretty quick when you're jumping in and out of the machine constantly for me anyway so since I dropped all my trees down in the same direction and uh, cut them all pretty much at the same spot, makes cleanup really simple. And it'd be a lot more simple if I didn't have to turn the trees 90 degrees, but still pretty quick. And unfortunately, I don't think we have any trucks available today. So I'm just gonna stockpile the brush right here until I get my truck. Work hard, get dough. I can't get no sleep, which make my life more simple. Now's a side issue, so I don't stomp by tiptoe. Fell a thousand times, I still I roll no limp though. But I wouldn't trade a thing for what I have. I go hard, do what I need to make it last. They say the good day. Set some grades, paint 
some line, set the laser, start digging. Just laying everything out here for excavation. There's three piers here. This pier's right there, three feet from that tree. So either we gotta take that big tree out or move the foundation over, like, I don't know how far, six feet would be nice. Helical piles would be good. The customer's on the phone right now, so I'm going to dig the drainage line for the foundation out to daylight here by the lake. Pretty neat feature having you know the the tree like if you right beside the deck. Well, we had the owner convinced to do helical piles, but then he called the general, and the general wanted the tree gone. So, changing back our buckets here, and we're gonna take down this monster tree. It's always a shame to cut a big tree down like this, but you could see lots of it's rotten already. So its life was uh, numbered. double the size of our brush pile. I think the size of our brush pile has already uh, doubled just from some of the logs. And every branch off the tree is like a tree itself. Right, now we get to pull this friggin' thing. Might take a bit.
thought I was ready to start digging a couple hours ago, but now we're finally ready to start digging here. But I have to go to town and pick up one of our dump trucks since no one else is available. So I don't really know if we'll even break ground today. We'll see what time we get back. Fresh. There's, there's no pedal. How do I work? There's no shifter. I actually don't know how to drive this truck. I am so weird driving an automatic truck. Because I, I like to rest my hand on the gear shifter. Because that's what I do in my truck, a dump truck. But uh, I'll be honest, I actually took my drive test in an automatic truck. I think that's at least five years ago now. <coughs> I got my truck license just before the new laws came into effect in Ontario where you have to now take a five week mandatory training course. So I've got my AZ is what we call it here. Good morning. Day two here on this new foundation excavation. I've, uh, you know, when it comes to snowmobiling, I got my GoPro angles right all the time, but uh, for the excavator, not so much. Seem to always have it in that bad spot. But I think maybe we gotta figure it out now. Wow. It is gonna be wet in here. Take some of this overburden off and pile it up separately and then we'll uh, start the excavation of the clean fill. Should be able to use it as backfill. And hopefully it's not too much silt content in it. into our nice sand here now but it might be clay farther down so if it is we'll just strip off the sand and keep it separate from the clay so then we can actually backfill with our material hard to say exactly what's too silty for backfill because we're not into clay yet but it is getting siltier the farther we go down different digging from our last job the other day went from hard pan pit run to silt with absolutely zero rocks it's so easy to dig level in this type of material kind of 
drainage pipe over here. Don't know where that would be coming from. Because it's not the septic. It's coming from the neighbors. It's clean water. That's really weird. right there. <clears throat> you never know what you're gonna find in here because this is all just old farmland. I've been running heavy equipment for a long time. I've probably only done 10 excavations for foundations. Because usually the bigger machines do those jobs. And I'm doing other stuff. And lots of, bar lots of barging, which you don't get foundations like this on the barge. Just set up the GoPro for a time lapse. Should have set it up right from the start. It's cool to see a, a hole. I don't know, a hole be dug. I guess that sounds boring when you put it like that. But time lapses are always cool when you're doing stuff like this. Any construction, I guess. That's a hole. I got a little bit deep right there, but the rest of it is mint. Got a little muddy too. any of the brush or stumps because uh, it's rained a lot in the last couple days and with the frost coming out of the ground we're sure to make a big mess if we try and truck on it so we'll just leave it until we go to backfill and haul it out then.